Alright guys, so today we're here with the man, even all wanting to see again. Man, boy, boy, man. Are you a man or a boy? Man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Why would you ask that? I'm a man. You just seem like you're on the, the, the pathway to becoming a man. You're not, you're like on the bridge. You're like, meh. You're on the, okay. No, I'm a man. I've been a man since 1967. How can you be 65 years old and not a man? That was quick math. That's nice. Let's clear that up, everyone. He is not 65. Okay, well, you don't have he's, to he's tell not. them He's not. He was joking, that. okay? Shh, shh, shh. I want to be the best-looking 65-year-old man on the planet. You're stupid. So how about you tell everyone where you've, uh, you've been? No, go ahead. Well, <clears throat> you know, boy's got to... Man's got to eat. And in order to eat, man needs to work. In order to... Work, a man needs to find a job, and I found a job. Tell everyone where you work. No. Yes. Wh why? Because. Tell everyone. Just tell everyone. We're gonna hot dog cart. Did you hear that? I don't, I don't think they heard that. Oh, we're gonna hot dog cart. I'm a sausage salesman. He sells Slinger of sausage. sausage. Stop rhyming. Or, I guess it's not rhyming. It's alliteration. Whatever. Anyways, so, well, you've been gone selling hot dogs. Mm hmm Victoria has come and gone and gone and come and she's bringing me a mentor. You get a mentor? Yeah, I do. What do Awakens get? Nothing. Oh. Didn't you read? The siege gets a mentor and a protector. Yeah, yeah. You're very special. Mm, I know. If you were around more often, you'd find out. Well, this place is terrifying. Creepy. It's, I don't know. It makes me just feel uncomfortable. So. What? Ah! That's the sort of thing that I'm talking about. See, with the falling and the... Ridiculous goings on the poltergeist. Poltergeist, that was your word. Things like that happen, okay? I'm aware of that, but it seems to be happening more often recently. Whatever. Quit whining. Well, I feel like this has already been much too long of a video, everyone. So, thanks for joining us. Again. It's over here now, they probably can't even see you. Bye, guys. I, I was just reading downstairs and I heard a noise upstairs. It sounds kind of like footsteps. Did you hear it? Anna? Is that you? I feel like I should go upstairs. Anna? I know I should go upstairs, but I know the second I do, this door's gonna slam behind me. Hey! Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. He's back. Hi. Hey. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Enough to. Oh, not much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, have you been watching the videos at all, Victoria? And... No, I've been watching a lot of Whitney Houston videos, actually. Not a... I guess that it makes sense, I guess. I'll forgive you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no, no problem. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Victoria. Yeah, she's back and she's crazy and yelling and then she's fine and then she's bringing me a mentor and then she's. She thinks I, I have to help her and. Some things never change. It's good to be back, kiddo. I know. Awesome.
Well, there you have it. Awesome. So, um, Victoria's here, as you can tell. And I guess my mentor? Victoria's told me about your running commentary. I'll take this. You mean my camera? Um, yeah. Look, that machine, it's not going to save you from the marking. I already figured that out. Sunshine, you need to listen to your mentor. He's here to help you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm listening. I just... We've got a long way to go. What, you don't like my outfit? Sunshine. I'm sorry, it's also weird. It's very formal. I feel judged. Well, we'll begin training soon. Right now, we just need to make sure that you're strong enough. This demon, it's very powerful. And, I mean, if you don't defeat it, we could lose Anna. And it, it waits for you as well. It wait. It's the same demon from the ritual? No, that, that was a lesser demon. This one? It doesn't care about family history or ritual or bargaining. This one, it, it's patient. Great. Look, right now, the most important thing is just making sure that you're powerful enough. Otherwise, we'll surely fail against this demon. And if we fail, we could lose you, we could lose Anna. Well, so what should we do? I think uh, I'll bring over a couple ghosts. What? Just, just to hone her skills. She's going to be hard to train. She's young, and she has a lot of distraction. And honestly, I'm not even sure if she's the one to save Anna. But only time will tell. She'll be ready. Wait, where are you going? That's it? What do you mean, send over a ghost or two? Did you hear what he said about me? Well, yeah, I was here, but what? I don't like him already. He's very nervous and fidgeting and weird. I don't know. Very weird. I feel judged. Okay, so, so that was odd, right? I mean, the mentor came, and Victoria came, and they were very, very formal, I guess would be the word I would use. They were very down to business, very, let's start, come on, sunshine, let's go, and I don't know, I just, it was odd. It was, and the mentor, he wasn't at all what I expected. I don't know what I expected. Somebody with a British accent, or a cane, or, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure. I just didn't really expect him. He was very, he was very dapper looking, which was nice, but he, he was young. Maybe he's not as young as he looks, or maybe he's older than he looks, or younger than he looks, if any of those made sense. I don't know. It, it's interesting. I mean, he looked young, right? I wasn't the only one who was crazy and thought that. So, yeah. And what did he mean? He was going to send... Send some more ghosts by. I already have plenty. I don't need any more. Thanks, though. And the whole thing about the demon, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just so... It's a lot to ponder. It's a lot of thinking I have to do, so... Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's all I had to say. We heard a noise upstairs. Do you think it's Anna? I don't know. It could be anything. Try calling her. Anna, is that you? Wait, where are you going? Well, we can't just sit here afraid in our well, own Maybe home. this is the, the training the mentor is talking about. I don't really think this is what he meant. Well, he said he was going to send ghosts over. Yeah, and he said I, he was going to hone my powers. I think, I think maybe this is the honing part. I don't think so. Anna? Are you there? I don't hear it anymore. Anna? 
Anna? I feel like that door's gonna close. What? Why? I don't know. Just do. <gasps> How do you know that? Um, Anna? Are you there? Can you open the door? What? <gasps> no. Anna. Whatever it is, it's angry. Much angrier. All right, guys. So first off, I'm outside because I didn't really want mom to hear me. Um, but I have something I have to confess. A guy called me the other day. He left a message. I didn't answer. I don't answer numbers. I don't know. Um, he was claiming to know my father and that he really wanted to see me and all this stuff and that he was ill and. I can't even remember all of it. It was a long message. But yeah, so it was weird. It was kind of creepy. So I called the phone number back, and nobody answered. And it didn't even have voicemail or anything. It just ended. So that was weird. I mean, that's weird, right? It's really strange. I don't know. So, yeah. I heard a noise at the door. Mom? Mom, what are you doing? I don't think it's my mom. <gasps> Anna? Anna, what's wrong? I don't know what that was. Yeah. Alright guys, so I was re-watching the video I put up the other day and um, I was reading some of your guys' comments and you said that you heard something in the video and so I watched it and here's the part that everybody was hearing, so yeah. Anna? Anna, what's wrong? Anna? Anna, what's wrong? Anna? Anna, what's wrong? So, you guys heard that, right? I mean, it sounded like a man's voice. It was really weird, right? I don't know, so... Yeah. Okay, guys, so it it's super early this morning, and Nolan just, like, dropped by. He's being really weird and... He has something to tell me. I don't know. He's being dumb. I don't Go ahead. Sunshine. I hang out with you a lot, right? On your adventures and stuff? Yeah. That's fine. I'm happy to do it, right? You're my friend. Okay? Okay. But when I sleep, that's my time. Okay? When I'm unconscious, I can't be worrying about all of this stuff. I need, you know, to regain my energy. Rebuild cells. That sort of thing. I can't be dreaming about all of this. Okay? I need a break once in a while. Even if that's in the middle of the night. Dream, okay? dream about what? About you and your dad and weird pooch looking thing on the leech with horns. What? You have dreams about me? That's a little more creepy. You should. Yeah, well, you know, uh, sorry about that. I'm sorry if that offends you, but I don't enjoy them either, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Look, what went down was <clears throat> there's your dad. There's a little dog. Okay, a dog. With, like, wings and 
weird stuff, and he was on a leash, and he kept saying, you know, we're, we're coming for you, just over and over again. I don't like it. it makes me uncomfortable. I got that. Is that if that was all that that? Yeah, I mean, I'm, there there were other things they didn't you know apply. There were clowns, and I was flying at one point in Grand Canyon. Okay. A lot of it actually wasn't so bad. It was just you know overpowering the abrasiveness with which that dream overshadowed all the others. Okay, I get it. Okay, so Nolan had a dream about my dad, I guess, and they're coming. I heard a noise, and the power's out, so I have to use my flashlight. Victoria? Victoria. It's all your fault. Victoria. Victoria, what's wrong? Victoria. I will never forgive you for this, and neither will your father. Victoria? Where are you? Sunshine? <gasps> Victoria? Victoria? <gasps> Tommy? Tommy? Victoria? Are you here? So, about last night, I called Uncle Tommy, and he was out of town last night. So, he couldn't have been in my kitchen, because he was out of town. So that's interesting. Um, not comforting in any way, even though I don't really want Uncle Tommy in my kitchen spewing brown crap out of his mouth, but it would have been more comforting if it was really him and not a ghost or a demon or whatever. And then the old lady ghost, or whatever, I, you saw that, right? I mean, is she one of my original 32, or is she a new one that the mentor happened to just drop by with? I mean, I don't know, they're not labeled, it's not easy to tell. You can't just... And then Victoria was yelling at me, and, and Uncle Tommy was yelling at me, and then they were both gone, and then they were there, and then they were gone, and... I don't know, I feel like the tone of things is changing. It's getting... Darker, more sinister. I don't know. I got nothing. Alright, guys, so I just got off the phone with the guy who called the first time 
wondering and saying all the stuff about my dad and everything. Um, and this time I answered and he just started talking immediately and was like, you're trusting the wrong people. And I was like, oh, but I don't know who am I trusting that's wrong? Like who, are, who's the wrong people and why are they the wrong people to trust? You know what I'm saying? I thought it was weird. And then he said, they failed the first time getting what they want from you and they won't fail again. So I don't know what that means either, but who's the they and I don't know, weird. My mentors here. Let's see, what, what is the point of that? What? The electronic device. My camera? It's just for recording stuff. But does it make you any stronger? No, I don't think so. Well, then you must get rid of it. Get rid of it? You mean just focus entirely on the paranormal and nothing else? That's exactly what I'm saying. <clears throat> Look, the abilities that you have, this gift, not very many people in this world have it. Focusing your skills on trivial things, such as this, it's only going to slow you down. I don't have any abilities, or I don't feel like I do, other than just being haunted. Well, now see, we're going to work on that today. How have things been? Worse. Good. This will help heighten your senses. Now today, we're going to work on your abilities. Now, if you will, walk to the end of the room. Okay. As Victoria instructed you, you have to learn to feel. You have to f learn to feel trust. This world, this world that you're so used to, you're, you're on, you're so familiar with. It's, it's not, it's not how you imagine it at all. Is that what we're working on today? Not quite. This is much more simple. What I need you to do, I need you to move from there to here, next to me, without walking. Without walking. That's right, without walking. Can I jump? No. You need to bend the space between you and I and come next to me. Bend the space between us? Like, like a gap between us? Exactly. Exactly, okay, well. I have no idea how to do that. All you have to do is concentrate. Okay. Sunshine, much like your abilities, this, the light inside you, it just, it'll happen. This ability, it'll, it'll just, it'll just happen. And all you have to do is focus. Okay. That's it. Okay. Apparently I have the ability to transport myself places. downstairs. Mom? Everything's fine, Sunshine. Come down. That doesn't sound like my mom. Mom? <gasps> what are you doing here? Huh? 
Who's there? What do you want? I hear something. It's coming from my. All right, guys. So I just wanted to fill you in with what happened last night after the flip cam died. Um, so I'm doing it on my Mac because the flip cam died. Um, so yeah, so we got back in the house and, um, Uncle Tommy fell to the ground and he started laughing hysterically and this was after he was done levitating. Um, and then seriously, hysterically, like ridiculous laughing. And then he passed out and doesn't remember any of it. Nothing at all. So that happened. That was weird. And I, I teleported, I guess would be the word I would use. I, I grabbed Nolan's hand, then we were outside, and then we were running back up to the stairs, and all that happened. I mean, you saw that, right? It was weird. And, and what, why is all this happening? Like, all of a sudden, all this bad stuff is happening. Not that bad stuff hasn't happened, but it seems worse, and it was better there for a little while, and then it's gotten worse, and now with the mentor, who's apparently not helping at all, what is he doing? He just shows up looking dapper, but then he doesn't really help. So, yeah. So, Victoria is here, so I, I, I don't know why or anything, so I just I grab my camera. Sunshine, um, I just, I want to know if you're ready, if you feel you're ready to help with Anna. Yeah, I am. I've been ready. I'm Are fine. you sure? Yeah. Because if you're not ready, all these things that are happening, these ghosts, they're, they're becoming much more aggressive. It's only going to get worse. Okay. We promise you're ready. I promise. I'm, I can do it. Okay. Then I'm going to have to prepare for the ritual. And we have to burn this house down. We have to what? We have to burn the house down. Oh, okay. I, I won't let the Marcons take her. And when we do this ritual, you are the one that has to walk her to the afterlife. Do you understand? I do. I understand. Okay. Then it will happen. Okay. I'll return. Okay. And then she's gone again. We have to burn the house. I don't know. Hey guys, so I decided to do an update video and just fill you all in. Because there's a couple things I'm changing and some things I need to tell you. So yeah. First update, number one, is I'm changing how I do things on YouTube. I've decided to only post videos on Fridays. At 5pm, my time. Or 8pm, Eastern time. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, if the videos will be all the videos combined from the week, or if they'll just be one video, or I don't know. But I do know the videos on Friday will be longer. Also, all other videos will be posted on my Sunshine's World page, so all the non-paranormal ones will be over there. All the paranormal ones will be on Fridays at 5. So, yeah. Exciting, I know. So, update number two. We're moving. And as you can tell, mom's already started packing, which is weird because we don't know where we're moving to. And to answer your question, no, I don't know what's going to happen when we move with Victoria or Anna or any of the Lucy H stuff. So, yeah. But mom's definitely talking out of state, which means definitely no Victoria. Horrible mistake. No, it's not. Cat's making a really smart decision. Look, right now we don't need to abandon Victoria and Anna. It's not how it should work. Okay, well what about our safety? Were you not here the other night, Nolan? Because I seem to remember you getting pulled across the floor and me bleeding from the face and yeah. levitating. Okay, alright. So there's some danger involved, I get that. But running away with our tails between our legs right now is not the answer. How are you telling my mom? Ooh. I was hoping you would tell her. Oh, right, yep. Done that. And she said she would have none of it. 
So, yeah. Yeah. She's making a good choice. They can't get out of here fast enough, okay? Look, I'm really sorry about Victoria and everything, but it is what it is. And as far as Nolan's opinion, let's not forget we really don't know anything about him. Hey! What? What are you trying to say? Okay, I'm sorry, I actually do like you, uh -huh. but we really don't know anything about you, okay? What's to know? I live nearby, I sell hot dogs for a living, I look really great in this jacket. Nothing else is important. Okay, how about the fact that you disappeared for two weeks, Nolan? Okay, that we found you in an abandoned warehouse where Victoria just happened to be. That wasn't my fault. Okay, how about you bringing a loaded gun into Sunshine's house? I was trying to protect her. Were you? Because it seemed to remember you saying something about having a lot of voices in your head. Okay, from somebody who's on the outside, that could really look like you trying to manipulate a situation. What are you accusing me? How about your grandma's house, Nolan? That you couldn't remember how old you are? That you just Stop. showed up you outside need to their door. door? Why? Because you don't have any answers? No one has answers. He just doesn't like to talk about him on camera, okay? He's embarrassed. Why? Because he's crazy? You know, for someone who says he likes me an awful lot, you certainly don't seem to like me very much. Can we stop? I could say some of the th same things about you, Uncle Tommy. Oh, don't even start with me. I'm the closest thing to family these girls had, okay? I would do anything to protect them. When you're not busy levitating and bleeding in the corner. Stop! No one, you should go. Me? Yeah, just, just for now. Well, fine, but just remember that I was just here to help you, okay? I've always just been here to help you, all right? He sent me to help you. What'd you say? What? Who's they? What are you talking about? You said they. I did. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Nolan? Uh, Nolan? 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 Nolan, get up! I'm sorry, sunshine. I'm sorry. But I don't think I can fix it. Just because I'm not like you doesn't make me bad! Nolan, why are you doing this? No one problem. He's the problem! No one stop! <laughs> Holy crap, what was that? Nolan? Oh my god, where'd he go? Nolan, are you here? Why are you calling for him? Well, I don't know. I just if he's in here, I don't want to be frightened by him. I don't want to do this anymore. What? Be a loose age. I don't know that that's a choice, kiddo. I don't know. Nolan? Stay away. No. What? Why? What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. Um, I gotta go, like I said. I gotta go film on it. So, yeah. Hey, guys. I heard some noises. I just can't believe that we're moving. I mean, after a year and a half of all this craziness with paranormal and siege and everything, that it's all going to be coming to an end. Well, sort of. I mean, I don't know what that means for Anna and Victoria. Victoria hasn't been back, and no one's been MIA, and I haven't heard anything from Anna. I think when Mom gets back, I'm going to ask her about moving and everything. I don't know. Anna? Is that you? Okay, guys. See you in a bit when Mom gets home. Hey, Mom. Hey, girl. Okay, that was weird. Um, you started it. Whatever. So, you want to tell us? Tell you what. Where we're moving. Oh, sure. Not on camera, though. What? Why? Gee, I wonder. Mom, they deserve to know. <laughs> Maybe they do, but you know what? I'm not going to tell. That's the mom code for you there. Do you not remember the uh, creepy letter that you got from the creepy guy? It was on YouTube, so it wasn't a letter, it was a message. Whatever. And... Tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, it was not that big of a deal, okay? Did you tell them about it? I got a creepy letter from a kind of creepy guy. Thanks for that creepy guy if you're watching. Oh, 
I'm sure he is watching. Mm. It's fabulous. So, yeah, no. I think for that reason alone, I will not be saying. Anyways. So when we move, can I still do the videos? Yes. As long as you don't say where you live. Okay. Sure. What? Fine. No. Any hints about the new house? Well, it's going to be brand new. How about that? It's going to be brand new, so we don't have to worry about ghosts. Unless it's buried on an Indian burial ground, and then maybe. Okay, two things. What? One, um, Indian, that's like, as in from India. I think you mean Native Americans, so. Aren't you PC? <clears throat> Fine, what's the second thing? Um, I'm a Lucige, so I just attract the paranormal. Oh, so now that's been proven that you're a Lucige? Proven by what? Like a panel of scientists? Well, science and paranormal don't really go together. Exactly! So all we have for proof is the last, like, year and a half. I think the only thing that proves is that you attract crazies. Crazies? Whatever. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to your first boyfriend. Yep. Can't be worse than the guy you attracted to knock you up and birth me. Awesome! Mm. Okay, enough witty banter for today. Don't you have to go practice teleporting or something? Ha ha ha! ha, ha, ha You're so ha. funny. Aren't I, though? Who is it? I don't know. It's Victoria. What? Victoria, do you wanna... You need to leave this house. What? What? You must leave this house. It's not safe here. Victoria, why are you doing... Do not call me by my name, girl. Heed my advice or suffer the consequences. Wait, what about Anna? Victoria? None of this can be undone, but it can be forgotten. Anna has moved on, and I am on my last day here on Earth. The Markhans have decided that you were not worth the trouble. They were wrong about you. You are not a Lucich. You are merely a girl. Okay. You don't pose a threat to them anymore. And you cannot help me. Your mentor has been removed. Don't ever expect to see Nolan again. I want you to know that this chapter in your life is coming to an end. And all you have to do now is allow it to end and start a new one. Do you hear me? Yeah. Goodbye, Francis. Oh, wait. Okay, well, I definitely want to find us a new home now. Hey guys, so I was just sitting in here thinking, and I decided to do a video for all of you. I just wanted to tell you that I really appreciate all of you. You've been with me from the beginning, and you're awesome. Really. And I'm sorry I'm not better at responding to messages. I mean, I think I have 700 of them waiting for me right now. But you guys are awesome. Really. I can't help but feel like this adventure is sort of coming to an end. I mean, at least in this house. Victoria really threw me off. I mean, coming in and telling me all these things and to help her with her daughter. And then yelling at me and telling me none of it was true. That I was just merely a girl. I mean, I almost feel like I'm never going to see Victoria again. Or hear from Anna. Or even Nolan, for that matter. And it makes me sad. But no one is merely a girl. Mom always taught me to be strong and positive, and to always speak my mind, even if it got me in trouble. So what if I'm not a loose each? So what if I don't have this super cool power that makes me feel stronger, better, more positive? Whatever. Being me was always good enough before I heard the word Lucich. You're always going to be what you believe yourself to be. So if you think you're merely, 
then you're always going to be just merely. Always be strong. Always be positive. There's no reason to be boring and mundane and not even anything. So what if I'm a, just a teenager going through life like all the other ones? At least I'm me. And that makes me happy. Hey, uh, guys, so Nolan has something he'd like to say. I'm sorry. That's it? You're done. Two words. I'm sorry? That's, that's all. There's a lot of people out there who love you and trust you and like that you're in the videos. I don't even think you can be in them anymore. I don't think I'd allow it anyway, honey. What, no points for comic relief? No. no! You lied to us. I didn't lie. You certainly didn't tell the truth. We've been through a lot this last year and a half, and I just kind of accepted all of it that came with you and all the craziness, but I don't even think you've been telling the truth about who you are. I don't know. Sunshine, I don't know who I am. Why'd you come to the house? I thought I could help. Then explain the black eyes and the disappearing in your grandma's house. I think I need help. Mm. I've been trying to help you. No, I mean real help. Like a professional. What, like a doctor? Like a priest. No, I think she's right. I think doctor's what you need. I don't know, Kat. No, no offense, Nolan, but it seems like there's a lot of things that you don't know. I know that the Marcon sent me here. What? So, so what, you're a groundling now? No. Not anymore. I don't want to be. But they won't let me go. Let you go? Victoria said they don't want me anymore. They don't, but I made a vow to them and I, I can't break it. Just like Victoria. Why are you telling all of this? Because I want to help. Look, Victoria was indebted to the Marcons. Okay, when she found you, she thought that you could help her break free. It's become clear that you can't, so things have gone back to the way they were. She's not evil. She just can't get free. I don't believe anything you're saying. I get that. And I deserve it. But think about it. It makes sense, right? Right? Victoria said it was her last day on Earth. It was. She's not exactly human anymore. So you're a groundling? Yes. No, I'm not. Sort of. I, I don't want to be a groundling, okay? The power is attractive. Good people do bad things. They do. They offered me power and I took it, but I don't want it. It's not worth it. So you've been lying to us the entire time. I know. I'm sorry. I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. I don't have friends who lie to me. I've been protecting you this entire time. Do you have any idea what the Marcons wanted me to do to you? Why do you think I was in the warehouse? I was bait. Look, they, they may not... You may not be a Lucich, but... You're special. Okay? And they know that, and they don't want you to know it. So they're gonna leave you alone. But we don't know what you are. And that scares them. Yeah, I still don't believe it. Nolan, I think it's time for you to go. Look, if I go, I don't know what's gonna happen to me, Kat. <sighs> Sunshine keeps me safe. Okay, and that's our problem. How? Look, Nolan, we've tried to help you. We've tried to be your friend. And all you've done is lie to us. Not everything is a lie. Okay, this isn't a lie. Come here. Uh, Sunshine. What are you doing? I... I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go. Uh, see you on the flip side. <clears throat> okay. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, no. 
I still don't believe it. We get it, okay? Everybody gets it. You don't believe him, okay? Did you guys catch that? Okay, Uncle Tommy doesn't believe him either, honey. What do you guys think? You believe him? Yes, no, I don't know. Just... Okay, that right there is a great example of why I don't want people to know where we're living. You found out last time. Yeah, with help from the Marcons, apparently. So why do you believe him now? I don't know. I don't... I don't know what I believe. Alright guys, so... Mom is officially set a move out date, so... Yeah, and it's a brand new house, so... No ghosts. Do I have my own room at the uh, new place? Yes, you do. Yes. Okay. Anyways, so we thought, mostly me, um, that we <laughs> would try to talk to Anna one more time since we're moving pretty quick. Yay. Here, you know what? I'll hold it. And then... She always feels like you don't hold it. Well, it's all about you. And you're yes. going to try to talk to Anna and we're going to support you in this. Okay. Um, what should we say? I don't know. Well... Is it sort of like... Hi. <laughs> no, I mean, we kind of talked about it a little bit. A little bit. You can, you know, tell her you're sorry, but you well, didn't fix it. And just yes. that you want her to be okay. I mean, right? Everything about her mom. Yeah, I guess it's true. Um, okay, well, it feels kind of weird talking to her, but I'm sure she's here. Um, so, yeah. And I would just... Me... Do we have to be louder? A shout. Mm -hmm. Anna! We would like you to know. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Um, that we're sorry we're moving and that it, all the stuff with your mom, I hope it all kind of turns out. Um, and I hope it's okay and that you're not too mad at us. Just that you want her to be okay. I mean, right? And we all want you to be okay. All of us. <laughs> I've never talked to a ghost before. <laughs> you feel special that I do, a little bit. You have to do a little bit more, I think. Hey, Anna. It's, it's me. I'm really sorry we didn't figure everything out. And you're a natural. Anyway, so that was all. I mean, she's not really active or anything, so. Oh, uh, she hasn't been for a while, sweetie. Yeah. So anyways. Um, and that we want her to stay here. <laughs> we really want you to stay here. Mom really wants you to stay here. And Uncle Tommy. And Uncle Tommy, so if you could do that for them. It would be really nice. I appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah. Get excited, guys. Hey guys, so, last video at this house. It's crazy. Not exactly how I thought it would end, but this is probably good, considering Victoria wanted to burn down the house. Or maybe I should have let her. I don't know, I have mixed feelings about the whole thing. On one hand, I'm sad to be leaving. I mean, it's the end of a chapter. And I'm sad to know, or think, Victoria will be stuck working for the Murkons forever, or gone, or whatever, and Anna's stuck here. I don't know. But, I'm also really excited to be starting this whole new phase. It'll be exciting. I've fallen in love with the paranormal. And I still have a lot to learn. But I'm sure me and Mom will have tons more adventures. And you guys will be there with me. I want to say thanks again for, you know, being with me through all this, subscribing and giving me your advice and crazy theories of what's been going on. Some of it's come true, but you guys have been awesome, really. I think that's everything. So, stay tuned. Watch next Friday. Get excited. Bye, guys. Blah!